our next uh, topic, and this is going to be the Bengals back to 500 record after the grueling 17 to three win over the Seahawks. This game was one of the better games in the NFL yesterday. It was a game that a lot of people were excited about the outcome of it and saying, you know, that pretty much, you know, these teams are pretty much cultivating their path to the playoffs right now. But the Bengals, it's going to be tough. The Bengals are three and two right now, but they're still in last place in the uh, North. It's crazy because that division, everybody's three and two or four and two like the, uh, Ravens right now. So pretty much they're on the odd balls out because they're on two in the division. But let's break down this game. Joe Burrow did not have the greatest game yesterday, was sacked a few times, but Joe Burrow was able to do enough to get them the win yesterday. Geno Smith is another quarterback just like Desmond Ritter. Had himself a big game with 300 yards, 323 yards at that, through two interceptions, was sacked four times. This wound up being detrimental towards the, them winning the game because Geno could not convert for this team when they got into the red zone yesterday. How do you throw for that much and get no touchdowns yesterday? And you threw picks and you guys still lost by four points, and you only managed to get 13 points. This is bad quarterback play. Yes, you got a lot of stats. Yes, you got the uh, numbers that you needed to validate some, something in your contract. But at the end of the day, though, you didn't do enough to help your team win this game. They, you, they were in position to actually blow out the Bengals. And the blown opportunities wound up being – exactly what motivated the Bengals to win this game. And that was absolutely just something that they have to fix at practice. They have to start simplifying things and making things a lot more easier for the overall basis of the group. Because it's great that you can get the ball 60 yards down the field, and then when you get to the 10 yards out, you stall out. It's just, ugh, what is going on? And it's like Gino is very ineffective when it comes to the run. He's very ineffective when it comes to uh, throwing, throwing in distress, all that stuff. He's such a programmed quarterback, and he plays like how every backup ever plays. You're going to be good for a few for a few games, but you're not going to be the consistent, constant that we need at the quarterback position. I truly do feel that Pete Carroll may need to go and uh, make the switch and go ahead and go get the young boy Drew Locke out there to play quarterback. Now, when it comes to the Bengals, the Bengals, I told you that they're slow cookers. Now they're starting to cook. They're starting to put it together, but it still don't look good. Joe Burrow is still dealing with that injury. It's just a little bit better. And guys are stepping it up, being better. But he got sacked three times yesterday, had a QBR 88.4. He only threw for 185 yards on 24 out of 35. He completed under 70% of his passes yesterday as well, too. So he, was, he, he wasn't great, but he wasn't bad. He's getting better, but... This will not be enough to really win this division this year. It won't because I'll keep it real. The Seahawks let you off the hook because their quarterback couldn't convert the big plays. It's that simple. He provided them with one touchdown and was able to get them two more field goals after that. They were in the red zone six times. You got to do better than that. You got to do way better than that. So, at the end of the day, this is going to be a very good lesson for the Seahawks and the Bengals moving forward. The Bengals showed that they can have a game where they can get into a little bit of trouble on the defensive end, but they'll be good enough to close out when they need to on these drives. And Seattle showed us that they're a team that really does need to simplify things and make things a lot more easier on themselves and get their stars more involved. It's that simple. It's that simple. But all in all, one of the best games of the day, one of the best games of the week, and um, Cincinnati won this game in fine fashion. And you know what? Nothing but props to them. They did the damn thing. And, um, you know, with that, we move forward. Let's go ahead and talk about the – Dolphins, what they did yesterday, the Dolphins.